Okay, so brothers and sisters, this is Eric. Thank you for joining me. Now, I'll be showing you two pieces of insane, never heard before information with regards to the image of the beast and also the identity of the false prophet. Okay, and it's taken from the religion of Islam. Now, I am actually quite hesitant to do this video. There's so much that I want to talk about, but I can only talk about these two, okay? Now, I've contacted one brother uh, who owns a fairly large YouTube channel about six months ago, but he didn't seem too interested to get in touch with me regarding this matter. Or I actually wanted him to do a video on my behalf, but you know. So anyway, um, what you're looking at is the Arabic text, okay, of one of the authentic traditions of Muhammad. In Arabic, they call it the Sunnah. Now, the Sunnah is basically anything that Muhammad did and said during his uh, lifetime, okay, when he was preaching in Mecca and also Medina. And this tradition is considered as uh, authentic because the authenticity of a narration, of an Islamic narration, or, or the Sunnah, depends on the chain of narration, which means the closer the narrator is to Muhammad, then the more authentic it is uh, supposed to be. And this is the uh, general consensus of all the Islamic scholars. So the one that is reporting this particular narration is from Ibn Abbas. And Ibn Abbas is the cousin of Muhammad. So it's fairly um, uh, uh, authentic. Okay, so let's read what Ibn Abbas, the, the cousin of Muhammad, narrated. He says that the messenger of Allah said about the black stone by Allah. Allah will raise it on the day of resurrection with two eyes by which it sees and a tongue that it speaks with, testifying to whoever touched it in truth. Now, if this description is familiar, that is because that is from Revelation 13, you know, where it talks about how, you know, the image of the beast shall speak, right? So when they see this uh, lying sign and wonder perform one of these, you know, this lying sign and wonder as being, uh, you know, the lying signs and wonders performed by the FP, you know, um, during the tribulation, they will think that, oh, it lines up with what our narration say. So we are going to believe, we're going to receive the image of the beast. But what does Revelation 14 says? Whoever receives the image of the beast, right? He shall burn in the presence of the holy angel and the smoke of the torment rises up forever and ever. So that's how they're going to fall for it. Alright? So it is just very creepy to me. Like, you know, what are the odds of this happening? Alright? And so now I want to show you. So I've covered the image of the beast. And that's all I will say about this. Now the second piece of information that I want to bring you is actually from the Quran. Uh, straight from the Quran is taken from chapter 3, verse 183. Okay, it says, There are those who say, Indeed, Allah has taken our promise not to believe any messenger until he brings us an offering which fire from heaven will consume. Do you see that? That's the reason why I've always believed that the FP is going to be a Muslim and not Francis. Why? Because it takes one of their own to convince their own. So when they see... Okay, um, so let me just end by saying this, alright? By reminding everyone that the Muslims are not waiting for a Messiah. They're not waiting for a God. They already have their God. What they're, however, waiting for is the arrival of Imam Mahdi, which is a messenger, which is a, for, uh, which is a prophet. They're waiting for a prophet. Okay, during their version of the end times. Okay, so um, that is the reason why Francis cannot be the FP. Mainly because Francis meets almost every criteria of the Antichrist. Okay, so um, yeah, remember that the AC is going to rise before the FP. Because the AC is the leader of the first beast that rises out of the sea, and that has to come before the leader of the second beast that rises out of the earth, that is the FP. So we, there is no criteria for to, 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 you know, to be met for someone to be the FP. 
So if there is no criteria for someone to qualify as the FP, so why does everyone keep insisting that Francis is the FP? Do you not see the political roles that he's playing? The active political, the active global political roles that he's playing, right? So, and this is the reason why, okay? And it takes one of their own, which is why, you know, so when the FP finally arises, it can be from no other religion than to be from Islam. Because if it is from another religion, then they'll think that, oh, that's not a Muslim, right? And this is the reason why um, the FP is, I'm 99.9% .9 sure that it is going to be, uh, you know, a Muslim. All right, guys? And the two scriptures from their religion, you know, sort of prove it.